All right, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how we are going to do the first steps to make our warm color, cool color, sun, and moon project. Starting out, we have a piece of paper. This particular paper um, is a rectangle, and we want it to be a square. If you are doing this project at school with me, I will have your papers cut into a square for you already. However, if you are working on this at home, then you will want to make your rectangle paper into a square. And to do that, you're going to take a corner of your paper, and you're going to fold it up until this line at the top meets. You don't want it to be too high, and you don't want it to be too low, or it won't be a perfect square. So we're just going to line up this edge. And I'm not even going to crease it all the way. What I am going to do is take my pencil and just go right along this line so I can get an idea of where I'm going to cut my paper. Okay, just like that. Now, when I open this back up, I have a very light line and I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut right on this line that I just made, trying to keep it as straight as possible. There we go. Now we have a square. Our next step is we are going to be tracing a circle in the middle of our paper. Um, at school, we're going to use a paper plate. If you are working on this at home, then you can use anything that's a circle that fits inside your square. So I'm going to put my paper plate right here in the middle, and again, I'm going to trace right around the edge. This circle is going to end up being my sun and my moon at the exact same time. Once that circle is there, we're going to make a line that goes through from one top corner um, edge to the bottom edge of our paper. And I want my moon to be a crescent moon. And I'm going to give him even a little bit of a nose because I'm going to end up decorating these later. So I'm going to start in the middle of my circle. I'm going to make his nose come out, back in, just like that. So this is going to be my moon. This is going to be my sun. But before I can do that, I need to add the lines that go to the top. And I'm going to make a line that goes, I'm going to go back this direction, towards the bottom. So this half will be sun, and this half will be moon. Once you have done that, you can start decorating it. And so um, I'm going to start by adding an eye here in my sun. I'm going to give him an eyebrow here as well. I'm going to give him a little bitty nose and I'm going to give him a mouth. I want my son to look happy because warm colors usually represent cheerful and happy, exciting emotions. In the background, I'm going to add the rays of my sun. So I can use a zigzag line to make my first row of rays. I may even want to add some more details. You could add patterns inside like this. Um, in the background, since I'm using um, a sun here, I might make some clouds. And now that I have my sun decorated, now I'm going to go ahead and do my moon. For the moon, I'm going to make him sleepy, so I'm going to make his eye closed. Put some eyelashes there. I'm going to give him a sleep cap. I'm 
maybe some patterns on his sleep cap. I'm going to give him a mouth here. And then in the background, you could do details like stars. You could do planets. So maybe you want to add some more planets in your background. You could do, let's see, ooh, maybe I'll do a shooting star or asteroid. So you can add details with your pencil to get your moon decorated and designed and your sun decorated and designed. And that will be it for day one.